If you've got a tree stump you want to kill naturally and quickly without using weed killer or having to dig, you better keep watching this video. This is a great method for if you've got a tree stump that may already be dead in the ground or has recently been cut down and is really sprouting but it's too big to dig out and maybe for access reasons you can't get an excavator or you might not just be able to afford it or don't want to pay to have a, a stump removal done then uh, this is a great method. Firstly, clear any debris around the tree stump. Next, by hand, using a rake or a leaf blower, remove any remaining leaf litter from around the stumps you want to remove. Once the stump and the surrounding area within a few metres is clear of debris, we can move to the next step. Next job is to find yourself some seasoned, dry firewood of varying sizes and something to start a fire with. So now we're over our stump and you want to grab yourself some tinder to initially get your small twigs burning. You can use newspaper, a fire starter, or in this case I'm using birch bark. Once your fire is self-sustaining, continue to build it, going up through your grades of So my fires are just getting going. In this case today, I've got five on the go. And these were native willow trees that were quite large and are notorious for growing back from the base after they've been cut, which I don't want them to do because I'm going to be replanting this area. Now because my stumps were fresh and still alive, I'm going to leave these fires going all day now 
come back occasionally, add a bit more wood, and then by evening, just let them simmer off with the embers still on top. A good tip when your fire is established, using the seasoned wood you've got the fire going with, you can add on some green wood, which is fresher and will burn longer. For those of you this method won't be any good for, or perhaps your stump is right on your boundary line with a wooden fence, or even right next to a prized rose or plant that means a lot to you and you don't want it damaged. Again, another method without having to dig or use weed killer. You can use some weed suppressant membrane or perhaps even some uh, water proof membrane that you use for damp proofing on a house. Uh, even a black bin liner, maybe a couple to make it even thicker. I'm gonna roll that out. over your stump, ensure it completely covers it and you can trim that to size and then pin it down with some old bricks or anything else you might have to hand like old tent pegs or even bits of log. Here's the first one I started off on yesterday. You can see, for the most part it is gone. Um, there's a little bit left there which is still charcoal which I can probably break out with my magical pickaxe. Um, but certainly, that's not going to be coming back. And that was roughly about a 20 inch trunk on that tree. So uh, yeah, if you've got a much smaller tree or your stump was dead already, should be very effective. Another one here, this stump I hadn't actually cut off at ground level, I'd left it still protruding out the ground, but again, um, it's just turned to charcoal and it actually feels quite hollow, so I think that should be quite easy to dig out if I want to. It's now just over nine months later, so let's go and have a look at the stumps. Okay, so we have our first one here, and as you can see, get rid of that. We've had no regrowth on that one whatsoever, and that is a big old hefty stump. We have another one just here, and another one next to it there, and there is one more, the one that was poking out of the ground a bit when we made the fire on it just here and you would expect these to have really vigorously regrown from the base by now. Our new trees are now establishing well, none of the stumps are growing back so I hope that video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video would love to check out some more gardening tips and tutorials you can click our faces appearing on the screen now, subscribe to our channel and like what we do. Thank you very much.